the Gemara in Masechet Avodah Zara, page 14b, says that Avraham Avinu, his tractate, how, how did he elevate his neshama to be so high? He studied a lot of Torah in the yeshiva of Shem and Evil, the son of Noach and the grandson of Noach. So, Avraham Avinu, is known for the chesed of having guests and things like that. But what did he do anytime he didn't have guests? He studied Torah non-stop. So the Gemara in Masechet Abu Dazara, page 14, says, what kind of Torah did he study? He said, you see how we have our tractate Abu Dazara has five prakim, has five sections? Avram Avinu, he had 400 sections. Meaning his tractate Abu Dazara was bigger than all of our Gemara put together. That's how much So they say, wait, so what happened to all of it? It's gone. He had it, we didn't have it. The Admor Migu, the Admor Migu, the Imre Emetz, says something really interesting. In uh, Likutea Shas on the uh, tractate Abu Dazara, he gives a fantastic chidush. He says, what does it mean? Avraham Avinu had 400 sections to tractate Abu Dazara. Where did it go? What happened to it? How come we don't have it? How do we get this? How do we lose 395 pieces? He says, what do you really have? Says, he reads from the commentary on the, in Midrash Rabbah, on the Song of Songs, chapter 6, verse number 8. He says, it says that there's 60 melachot and 80 pilakshim. He says, this symbolizes, this 60 symbolizes the 60 tractates of the Gemara. And the 80 different ways to learn them. The 80 different ways to learn them. So he says, Avraham, what did he do? You see, we have, what do we have? We have five sections to the tractate Abu Dazara. Right? If you want to be holy, what do you do? You not only learn it once, you keep learning. Avraham Avinu not only learned it. He learned it 80 different ways. There's 80 different shitot, 80 different strategies of how to learn the same exact thing. He learned these five, five sections 80 different ways. What do you get 80 times 5? 400. That's the 400 that he had. It's the same way. But when you study it from this way, from that way, from this way, from that way, from this way, from every single, all the different holy strategies, you get to see the Gemara in a completely different way. Now the question is, why would Avraham Avinu do such a thing? It says that when a person wants to destroy Avodah Zara, he has to learn Torah Lishma. He has to learn the Torah just for the sake of learning. Not because I'm going to read this because I understand this because it's easy. No, no, you're not studying because it's easy. You're studying because this is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to do. Yeah, but I'm reading it five hours, I don't understand. Why should I study it? Should I just, should I just study something more? No, no. If you study the difficult, that's Torah Lishma. No, no, I'm only going to study it because I need it for a test. That's not Torah Lishma. I'm going to study because I'm going to write a book. That's not Torah Lishma. I'm going to study because I can use this material to go show off to my friends. That's not Torah Lishma. That's not Torah for the sake of heaven. Torah Lishma means Torah for the sake of heaven. No, Torah for the sake of heaven means you're studying it just because this will bring good. No benefit. Not because there's more mitzvot and more this, more that. What's the benefit of doing things just because HaKadosh Baruch Hu said so? It says that destroys Avodah Zarah. It destroys idolatry. This is why, by the way, what you said is 100% correct of when you study more difficult Gemara and different halachot and things like that, it rectifies the sin of wasting seed. Why? Difficult Torah is by definition difficult. 
Meaning, the only way you can continuously sustain going back and breaking your head, breaking your head, breaking your head, breaking your head, breaking your head is why? Because you love a Kadush Baruch Hu. Because if you're just loving yourself, you're going to go pick up one of these easy books, read somebody's story. Oh yeah, the rabbi uh, went from this place, that place, 500 pages repeating the same exact thing. Yeah, I'm going to read some rabbi that wrote a book three years ago. Why don't you read one of the Rishonim? Why don't you read one of the Gdolei uh, Adok? Why don't you read something more difficult? No, 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 I'm going to read something. I'm going to read uh, Harry Potter, but the uh, biblical version. You want it easy? That's not the for the sake of heaven. You study the hard stuff. Why? You love Hashem. Yeah, but it's hard. That's the point. That hard Torah shows you love Hashem and it has power. What kind of power? Destroying idolatry. Destroying idolatry. And wasting seed, by the way, the Gemara says, is considered as a form of idolatry. A form of idolatry. Not idolatry, but a form of idolatry. That's why, for example... Anyone knows a little bit about the crazy people that call themselves Satanists or people that deal with, uh, with all types of witchcraft, whether it be uh, you know, witchcraft from the third world countries or uh, Wicca or uh, all types of voodoo and things like that. Those people, uh, part of their uh, witchcraft or, or the likes has to do with uh, seed, wasting seed and blood and things of that nature. Why? Because... That's the Tum'ah of Tum'ah. So in order, if, if a person fell for those types of things, wants to fix himself, he has to study Torah Lishma. Meaning that when Avraham Avinu studied the tractate of Abu Dazara in 80 different ways, that means he did the most difficult thing known to man. It's not reading the same book 80 times. It's reading it from a completely different and unique perspective every single time as if you've never read it before. Doing things the exact opposite that a normal person would look at. 80 different ways. Why? I love Hashem. I do it this way because I want to bring nacha to Hashem. I want to show Him I love His Torah. I'm going to look at it in every single possible way there is. Yeah, but it's the most difficult. Why don't you go on vacation type of Torah? No, 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 no. I want the most difficult. Why? I love Hashem. When a person studies Torah that way, he destroys Abu Dazra to such an extent that he's even fixing not just his own neshama, but the ones that came before him, things that are around him. It helps a lot of different things. Lots of different things. It's not just a simple read a Harry Potter book and uh, maybe you'll remember part of the story a few weeks down the road to tell your friend. No. It's this type of learning Torah sanctifies a Kadosh Baruch Hu's name with the amount of love that you have and in essence makes a, uh, makes a person's neshama elevated to a level that is like nothing else. B'Shem Hashem Nasev and Atzliach, we're very excited to offer you the new Bezat Hashem app 3.0. It's a newer, faster app full of Torah, lots of Kedusha by uh, the Shurim that we do, myself, Rav Ephraim, Rav Chaim, uh, where you'll have uh, also newer features where you're able to use the app uh, while you're using other applications on your phone. You'll be able to share the, uh, the lectures directly from the app. You'll be able to donate online and support our Cube and our Torah work that we're doing. And the most exciting feature is that you'll be able to actually ask questions directly on the app and get answers from the rabbis directly from the app. This is something unprecedented, and Baruch Hashem will be able to offer it. Thank you again for all of your support. Check it out. Make sure you have the kosher Torah that uh, will re-energize your neshama each and every single day. Call to B'chavat